Hey there, the Geeky Minecrafter here, bringing you another episode in the Let's Play series. Episode 26 is all about building the kill pit uh, and activating the mob spawner, the XP farm, the gold XP farm. So let me tell you, I've, I've had some technical difficulties, uh, not the least of which is dying multiple times, falling off that thing. Yes, it seems that having a 22 high um, ring uh, four feet off the ground or four blocks off the ground means that it's a total of 26, which means, that's right, you die if you fall. A couple of times I hit the water or was aiming for the water that I, I had a, a pool out here and missed it, missed it by this much. Um, I did get the interior rings finished and I have ignited them so I do know that they fire. The other thing I've done, uh, again, I've, I told you I had technical difficulties. I've recorded a couple of times as I was building this. Uh, in one, the video file got corrupt, and in the other, I wasn't actually recording. I had pressed pause. Uh, so I did the shot the entire video, and then <laughs> noticed I had four seconds. Uh, so, you know, such is the life of a YouTuber. So let me basically tell you what I've done uh, that you've missed while uh, you were while you were sleeping. So I have built the walls all the way around. I have built an AFK station. I have placed all of my water source blocks against the back. And I do have wooden pressure plates um, in the middle. So if they fall in, which they will, uh, they're four above the um, uh, water, so they'll step off the ring. They'll fall in, they'll move forward, and it, as soon as they do, they'll hit the next level of uh, water blocks, which will force them down into this area. Now, they'll fall off into this, and this channel will funnel them to where I want them to go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a kill pit down here uh, that will crush them. Uh, now, I'll have two options, one to crush them. Uh, so that they're one hits and I can I can get a whole bunch of XP that way or if I'm not here and zombie pigmen are falling um, I, I'll have an, another lever that allows them to flow right straight down and it will divert them into a different water source that will um, run them up against cactus and kill them that way so what I don't want to happen is a whole bunch of entities to build up if I'm not down here to capture the XP farm so I have gathered up a lot of resources. Uh, I've had to do quite a bit of mining. Um, I've gone to the Iron Golem farm. I've gone to the Nether. I've, you know, I've gotten all the materials that I need to build this, including the signs. Uh, and I think I'm ready to get started. Now, this particular build uh, was one that I found online. Thank you, Monkey Farm, uh, for your mob spawner, or uh, sorry, your Minecraft XP farm tutorial. Uh, there's an element in there that I'm going to just blatantly copy. Um, now, I'm not doing his mob farm. He does have a waterless, pistonless mob farm, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but since I'm attempting to harvest gold, that's what I want uh, coming through the portal here is the zombie pigmen. So zombie pigmen, though they don't take fall damage, and the lava won't hurt them. So I am going to have to crush them and then hit them with a sword. Uh, and then in the event that I'm not in here, I will uh, use the uh, the cactus. And now, you know, I don't I don't think I brought those down here. So uh, for that part, I'll have to go back up to the base. Yeah, I didn't I didn't bring the sand or the cactus. So let me just uh, let me just start here, and we'll talk about what I'm what I'm going to do. So basically, everybody's going to funnel down to these two blocks right here. Okay, I want everybody to fall right here, which means I'm going to need a set of pistons right here. Okay, they're going to push up to prevent it. That also means I'm going to have to dig my um, my AFK station down. When I, when I built this originally, I thought I was going to be able to kill them uh, in a slightly different manner, but building this crusher means that most of this is going to be underground. So I think um, think what I need to do is just start knocking out some of these bricks or some of the stone, um, and get. Uh, oh look, that must be. Huh. 
Remember when I when I came down underneath and was uh, <laughs> uh, mining out uh, coal? I, I think we've just found where I was underground here. I do know I want one block above whatever it is we're doing. Uh, there's I need six blocks for the pistons, so that's one, two, three. So uh, three down, two across. So that's the six pistons that we're going to have. There's going to be a set of pistons here. Uh, that are going to push blocks up, but I'm not going to put those in until I know exactly where I'm going to where I'm going to be working. Um, I am going to need a little bit more space. He does talk about pulling out what was it uh, five across? One, two, three. I think it's uh, five across and nine back or something like that. So I'm just going to get myself some work in room here. Oh, that was oh, this is the turbo pick. <laughs> it just makes short work out of all this. Okay. And I'm probably clearing out more space than I'm I'm going to need, but I'd rather you know, I'd rather have more room than than not. I'm I'm going to cover all this back up once it's built so you won't be able to see any of this. Okay, so I'll have a piston up against here. I'll have a, well, actually back a little bit. So if if the first piston set goes here, you go one, two, three. So the next pistons are going to start right here. Oh, I probably shouldn't have gone down like that. Or maybe it's take this one down. You know what? This is going to be trial and error. Um... That's that's the nature of the beast, right? All right, let's just let's just get some get some tools up here. Tell you what, let's go let's go in a little bit and uh, maybe across right here. Yeah, there we go. I knew I had a ladder in here somewhere. Okay, so I've got uh, some pistons. I'll need these. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. I need some blocks to put against them. Uh, I think we're going to go fancy. Uh, I'll maybe use granite so that I can tell them apart. Yeah, because we'll we'll do the polished granite here. That'll be that'll be awesome. So let's see what we've got here. If I want this row to be the pistons, these are going to point up, right? One, two. And I'm going to have a block on here and a block on here. Okay, and then when these are extended, they're going to come up to here. Uh, oh no, these need to move over one. Uh, because the kill pit where they're going to fall needs to be right here. See, trial and error. you got to love it. So we want these pistons right here. Oh, not that way. Right. Okay, now these are going to push up to this level. You know what? This is this is not high enough. I'm going to have to go down some more. I guess I should have paid a little better attention to his video. <laughs> it's getting dark. Let's let's um let's light a little of this up. I may have to move it. Okay, so if this is where I want them to drop, right here, and I need, this is going to contain the block right here. That means this piston is going to be here, and that's going to go one, two, three. Okay, I think we're at the right level. Sure, hate to be wrong a third time, but okay. So what I want is these pistons. Let's go ahead and fill this in. I can just do dirt, right? So these pistons, one, two, three, three back. We're gonna have one here and one here. They're gonna have blocks that 
are going to meet these when they're fully extended. Then this is the crusher up here. I need to get up a little bit. And then this is the, these four are the crusher. Now, if you just wanted a loot pusher, you could do just the bottom two. Four will be the mob crusher, and this is going to extend uh, to cover the drop spot. Oh, are you kidding me? I did it again. I did. <sighs> this has got to be the drop spot. So I knocked them down and didn't move them. Why didn't you tell me? Gosh, you're making me look bad over here. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. You know, I probably should have built this in a creative world first to try it out. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. This one. Okay, I really hate doing this trial and error stuff on camera. But what are you going to do? Okay, so there's going to be these blocks. These will push down. So here's where they're going to drop, okay? Now for right now, I'm, I'm just going to put some dirt in there so I can, you know, I can not fall. Okay, so these are going to extend over to here. These are going to extend up. And I'm going to knock all this down back here. I'll give myself a little room to work. Um, so they'll drop through there. And then these are the four blocks for the crusher. Okay, so that's pretty good. We're going to drop them in here. I'm going to have signs, you know, the water's going to flow out to here. I'll have signs that stop it. Uh, just drop them in this little channel right here. Oops. So, right, this is where they're going to fall. Okay. Now it's uh, wiring it. This is, this is where things are going to get interesting. So I want two elements. I want a switch that will turn on the pad so that the pad is now ready to receive the mobs that I'm gonna come in here and, and uh, whale on. So I want the bottom two pistons and these two pistons to be wired up to a button, I'm sorry, to a switch, a lever. And I'm gonna move some of this out of the way. I'm gonna just have to come back later and fix this. Okay. So, if this is where it goes, I need two blocks here, right? This is where you're going to stand, is right here. Okay, and my ladder is right where I need the button. I just did not think that all the way through, did I? Let's pull this off. And I'll, I'll figure another way out. Okay, so I need two right here. Okay, so I'm going to have a button right here on this block. And I'm going to have a lever on this block. So that's what we're wiring up to. Oh, I hear Enderman. Do you hear Enderman? Why won't they leave me alone? Don't they know I'm making a video? Good grief. <laughs> Don't you wish it worked that way? Okay. So the wiring calls for uh, my lever, some redstone, a couple of repeaters. Let's get that stuff ready. Okay, so we want to wire the lever up here, and we want to wire the button. Here, let's knock a little bit more out here. Things are getting kind of cramped. We want to wire the button up right here. Where did I put the button? Here it is. So when we press the button, we want these two pistons to come up. No, I'm sorry. The button is for the crusher. We want all four of these pistons to crush forward. The lever is going to control these two and these two so that they form a solid pad. Okay? Uh, and then when they're off, these two will retract, and this will come up. So let's just make sure our bottom two work. Let's do that. 
Okay, see that's the pad, that's where they're going to fall onto. See, they're going to fall down right to here. Now we'll have glass in front of here so the, you know, they won't be able to escape. Um, so we want to wire this up. So we want to go down to underneath, right? And I'm not going to do it with uh, torches, obviously. We're going to do uh, a couple of uh, repeaters. And we're going to get, let's see, one, two, three, some redstone. So we're going to come back. I don't want the signals to cross, so maybe here. Okay. Okay, so let's turn this on. Okay. That looks right, right? That makes it so that falls down. Let's see. Oh, see, these are not. Oh, I forgot to wire in these. Good grief. OK, so we wire these in by going to the block below. And we put two repeaters in. And we wire redstone across. Hold on, hold the phone. Oh, I see what I've done here. Um, yeah, so this comes down. Right, two over. We have uh, not this one, but this one. Let's just get a bunch of space in here, right? I'm going to use dirt, which means I'm going to need my shovel. We'll put that right here. Okay, so I'm going to need um, a block here and a block here. We're going to, on this center piece, I'm also going to need a stone block. And this is just, you know, how I recorded my notes so I know what goes where. These are also going to come out, and I'm going to have some redstone torches that are going to go in and in. And what I should have is, is the middle two. Oh, here, let's turn so that we're not confused. Let's turn this off. Okay, so that's the middle two. That's perfect. Now, to get the top two, is that right? Yes. Okay, now to separate it, separate the signal and make the clock, what I'm going to need is underneath, I'm basically going to be creating a torch tower, right? So we want that. See, I didn't, I didn't need those there. Good grief. Okay, and then I'm going to need another one underneath that. This is this is trial and error. This is probably not right. Let's see what we have there. I should have. Yep, I still do. Good. So now it's time for the 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 clock. Basically, the timer that's going to keep that open long enough for us to do something with it. Um, so I'm gonna build that out to the side. I actually want just a little bit more space here. We need to find the. Um, Find the block we're going to be working with, and I need uh, I need to expose. Here we go. Right down through here. Will I be able to go this close? Okay. Okay. Pardon the obvious edit. I needed to find where that button was located, so I had to dig out. So basically, I'm going to knock the block out underneath the button, 
and we're going to run redstone right up to it that way. Now I'm going to bring it down, you know, this first one, and then I'm going to drop it down one more. I told you this was going to probably uh, come down, so it comes down one, two. Now at this point, I need um, I need to reverse the direction, so we'll put a Pull it out here so you can see it a little better. Oh, goodness. Okay, so right here, this goes into the block. We're going to have a redstone torch right here. And let me see. You know what? I Do I need to come over one? I do. I do. See, that was my bet. Okay. So this comes down and then over. There we go. Otherwise, I'm going to be too close to that other torch, and uh, it's, we're going to we're going to mess that up. So just to make it clear, here we go. So we're going to come by and. Actually, we'll, we'll have stone here. I'll put that back in just a moment. Um, we'll have a stone here, a torch here, and then we'll continue this line of redstone back around to... Oh, I haven't dug it out. Okay, so you see this torch right here? We're actually going to bring a um, repeater in right there. So going to force it in, and this line is going to come around and hit both of these, so I need to channel across here. And again, I'll fill some of this... Oops, I just knocked some redstone down, didn't I? Why, yes, I did. This one where I'm standing. Okay, then we'll come in it from the back. I just should have hollowed this whole thing out, then filled it with dirt. I'd have been able to follow his tutorial a little better. So I want the repeater to go right into that block. Oh, see, yep, this is where that um, <laughs> where that googly where I came in and dug that hole to get the <laughs> get the coal out. Because, uh, you know, I told you in an earlier video, or maybe maybe that's part of the stuff that was lost, I don't know. Uh, but I kept hearing zombies, and they were, like, right where I was standing, but I couldn't find them anywhere. Uh, it turns out, remember that place I, I pulled coal down? Well, <laughs> uh, I left just enough room for zombies to spawn. Come on, really? So, one, two, three, on this level, right? There we go. So repeater into this block. Redstone across. And hit that. There we go. Let's see. How am I going to get out of here? <laughs> you know, I don't think you're supposed to build this underground. I'm just saying. Uh, ooh, I'm right at the water, aren't I? Yeah, things are going to get interesting here. So let's just peek. Uh, i tell you what, let's, let's build a stair down. Okay. So, with the switch off... The pad is up. Turn the switch on. They fall down where they need to be. Okay. This should push this forward. And that'll crush them. Now, it, it you notice it went really fast. Okay, because we haven't added the timer clock yet. 
uh, that's next. So we'll put the... Uh, okay, so our timer clock is going to go right in here. And In fact, let me, uh, let me go ahead and put some more stone back in here. Uh, I'm going to cover all this stuff up. And I can do the timer clock. Let's see, one, two, three levels down. One, two, three. So this is perfect, right? Oops, sorry, I accidentally hit the pause button. Um, we want the timer clock right through here. Just gonna open us up a little more space. two, three, almost. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to add a line of repeaters um, that are going to uh, hold the crusher closed long enough for us to crush the pigment so that they're down to just one hit. And we're going to do that right here. So in between, in between, we want a block here, a torch here, a line of redstone. Oh, one, two, three, is that right? I think. Well, let me just finish digging this out because we're going to have like nine repeaters. here. Oh, it was one of the tunnels I was I cut looking for where those stupid zombies were. Okay, so this uh, switch fires this torch. This torch heads on around. So what we want to do is we basically want to interrupt it. So I got a box between it. I'm going to bring some redstone out here. Okay, that's going to complete this circuit. Now we're going to intercept this signal right here. We're going to run that into a repeater. Oops, hello. You can't do that. So I'm basically just going to intercept it right here, and I'm going to send it on into a full chain of... Um, am I too close? No, I'm not too close. Okay, so I'm going to put this on four ticks. I'm going to put another one down, put it on four ticks. Again, Monkey Farm, you did a really good job of making this clear. I, I just, I should have practiced this before the video. So to my viewers, I apologize. I'll, I'll edit a lot of this stuff out. Uh, I hope it'll make sense. I, I hope it'll be clear when I get done. Uh, but if it's, if it's not, it's not Monkey Farm's fault. It's definitely mine. Okay, so we're going to turn right here. Let's put a little redstone. Put this on four ticks. Another one, four ticks. Now, I believe, because these are zombie pigmen, I'm actually going to need probably a little bit more than you would need for your average um, mob. Oops, that one missed. Uh, and I think, I think the number he had was enough for the average mob. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I'm going to come down and, and turn it right here and head back. So... I know we only put three going back, but again, I think um, I'm going to need more than that. And I can always, I can always take some out or shorten the ticks. Uh, this is this part here is going to be trial and error to get how long it's actually going to take to crush it. So, and this will go right back into this block now. So, basically, what happens when that switch is thrown? The signal is going to come down this line. It's going to go into this torch. And it's going to go off and fire the pistons right away. It's also going to divert and head through here and go down this line and back through here. And then it's going to turn this torch off, which is going to fire, uh, reverse this and undo the, uh, the pistons over there. So let's, uh, let's, let's look. Let's try that. Where did I, <laughs> where did I get out before? No, it wasn't here. I 
just don't want to break anything that I might have been. Okay. Nope. Yep. Nope. <laughs> okay. I got a little ma maze here. Okay, so basically what we want is when this button pushes. Oh, nothing happened. That's not good. Okay, okay, okay. Am I missing a little piece of redstone? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, it's so simple, right? I need a little piece of redstone right here. There we go. Right? It didn't complete the circuit. Oh, really? Oh, good grief. Do you see it? <laughs> I'm missing the little redstones right down here. Okay, that'll complete this. Did I lose something here? That goes into there. That goes up. This one's on. That one's off. Okay, let's try that. Oh, really? Okay, that worked, but I got a zombie on my tail here. Uh, I don't know where he is, and I can't get out of here really quickly. So he's going to have to come to me, and then... Uh, then I'll kill him. Are you out here? Oh, I'm not going to open that without my... Okay, so basically, let's do this. It pushed him out. It's staying out. We're walking all the way around right here. Then they withdrew. So that's what we're looking for. So I need uh, four pieces of, I wanted to make this really fancy. So we're gonna do the polished granite right here. Okay, let's watch one more time, ready? So remember, there's going to be glass in f here. Oh, so wait. Okay, um, let's just make sure everything else still works. Okay, that looks good. Yay. Uh, okay, so basically now all we have left to do is to fill it in, to add the water, and to divert and then ignite. So give me just a minute to retool, uh, and we'll we'll fill this in. Okay, I I've gathered up the materials that I think I'm going to need, and I, I would just like to say, Mahjong, if you're listening, let us build steps out of the new ores, the diorite, the andesite, and the uh, granite. Uh, having to bake a bunch of uh, cobblestone so I can make you know pretty steps out of that. That's just it's really irritating. Uh, and I, I didn't bring enough stone. I don't want to run to the house, so uh, we'll just we'll do this. We'll put some in, and we'll do the steps uh, after we're done. Okay, so again, this is just about blocking it off. This is about um, fixing it up and making it pretty. So let me put my workhorse in here. Um, okay, this we're just going to have this be a step down, okay? Uh, this is going to be the AFK station. We're just going to walk de right down to this. And I think we have, it'll go right right to here, right? So you'll stand here. There will be glass here. So I, I'll need uh, two here. So one, two, one, two. And then I am going to need some stone. You know what, let's use the stuff you're, we're not going to care about that we can't see. Uh, you will be able to see that one. My bad. Hold on. Yep, I do have stone. Okay, so you'll see this one through the glass. The stuff behind this, we can be we can be a little more cavalier with. Okay, so we'll have one across here. Okay, so we'll stand here. The zombie pigmen will fall into here. Let's open it up. Okay, we'll fall into that channel when we're not AFK. I mean, you know, when we're not here and we just want to get rid of them. And uh, we'll actually, I'll tunnel down and build it back there. For right now, though, I'm going to leave this 
uh, on and we'll capture the zombie pigmen right here and then when we need to we will crush them forward they will be squeezed they'll be screaming there will be crying <laughs> it will be bad and then they'll be done so I've got some polished uh, granite to bring this down um, we're gonna stand here so maybe I'll put some glass up in there just so we can kind of uh, see what's happening see them falling in you know because we do like to watch our zombies die I mean our zombie pigmen die okay so we're we're gonna need some more of this stone slab and I'm gonna make uh, a stepway right up to here Okay, nice, neat little, right down here to the AFK station. Okay, let's fill some of this in. Um, goodness. Oh, wrong tool. Hold on. There, that's the right one. Um, you know what? I didn't check yet. Hold on. Hold the phone. Um, let me get up here. There's got to be another way over there, right? No, of course not. We'll just cut our way through. And uh, just give myself a little something to jump on right here. This is just temporary. Can I jump on that? Yep. Yeah. Right? And a little something to catch me there. Let's just make sure there's no monsters in here. Okay, so once again, the zombie pigmen are going to flow down here. Uh, I need to fill that in. They're going to fall right here. We're going to have to add another water source. We're going to need a couple of signs because they're going to flow right to here. So I do need to cover that. And is this one covered? This one is. So just cover this bit. Oh, this has got to come down a level. <gasps> Say it isn't so. Oh, good <laughs> grief. I may cry. Um. Yeah, so here's the problem. <laughs> I'm sure you already see it. In order for the water to continue flowing, we have to drop down one extra block, right? Right here. That's what causes the water to kick off and, and keep flowing. That's going to mean all of this comes down one block. And that's not good. Okay. Give me a minute to rethink this. Maybe I'll bring everything up one block. That would actually be a lot easier than moving that contraption. Okay, I... I don't know what to tell you. I have looked at this. I have been down underneath here. I have played around with it. Um, I think I'm going to have to move everything up one. I've taken a look at this. There's no way to protect it. There's no way to drop just this down. So I think what I'm going to do is call the episode here. here here's, here's what I finished uh, while I was thinking. Okay, I process good while I'm, you know, wandering around thinking. I did kind of uh, close this off, clean up some of the... Um, some of the extra stuff. I've got a couple little maintenance channels over here so I can get to stuff. Uh, I will close this off with a door, okay, so that, you know, this, this area is, is uh, protected. 
I'll close this off. This this will all fill in. But I am going to have to raise the roof one in order to get the water to flow the way I want. Now I'm I'm contemplating doing something with the uh, trap doors and I you know like or the wooden pressure plates like I did out in the main area and I may try that before I raise the floor one. Uh, and if it works, I will um, I'll come back in and, and show that to you. Uh, but I think I'm going to call the episode here. I've just we've been running a long time, um, and I'm 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 a little frustrated. Not going to lie to you, and uh, not sure what what I'm going to do. So I think I'm going <laughs> to think I'm going to go take a break. I'm going to give it some thought, uh, try a couple things, and then uh, hopefully come back to you real soon and let you know what I what I figured out. Let's light this up so we don't get any monsters in here. And uh, okay, let's do this. Let's turn around. Oof! This is a frustrated geeky Minecrafter signing out. I'm wishing you all the best because uh, my Sunday's ending ending on a low note. Gotta tell you. So till next time, you guys all enjoy. Happy mining. Mm -hmm.